Alrighty, and welcome back everyone to the channel. So we'll be continuing our solo node runs using characters at near end game. So I had done a tank last round, and so this time we're going to be doing a light DPS, and we're going to be doing one of the more fun ones, Big Boned here, because he does not have a healing ability. And so... Big Bone, what you need from him is you need Respect the Axe. You don't really need Weaken, although it is very nice and the ability to tag team in the way he does his damage rotation because of the way everything is set. So you have 16 seconds, 10 seconds, and also 10 seconds. Basically, he'll hit something and then he'll like cast these back to back, and that's quite nice. So the, the damage and stun coupled with this, because it stuns for 8 seconds, you could go up and hit him again with this and then follow up with this combination. Unfortunately, the stun durations don't stack, and so he'll only really be stunned for 8 seconds. So you could use this as a follow-up. So if you could hit them with this and then follow up with a stun, that's one way to do it. But the best way is to just show you guys exactly how to do this. So I still have a ton of mats saved up, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop all of these, mostly just for some damage increases. Uh, I already have this m attack buff increased quite a bit, and this does help a lot when soloing him, because it makes the difference between being able to just love tap enemies to actually hitting them for a quite a bit of damage. So I don't know if I want the minus two seconds because this ability just doesn't do a lot. But this attack down is going to be very useful for bosses. So I'll pick that up as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop in with Big Boned. And so there is something that is good to know about him. And that is the range of his leader ability and how that works. So we're going to turn this to one time. So for Big Boned, if you don't have his range upgraded, it doesn't work as well. But once you do have his range upgraded, then it works beautifully. And several of the other melee characters can do exactly this, where basically you could cast his leader ability outside of range and the enemies will walk into it by the time the cast is finished reaching them. And let's see if I could showcase this for you guys without messing up too much. So basically we're gonna go and we're going to pull aggro of just these guys. I'm gonna take a couple hits here, that's fine. And then basically I'm just gonna hold it here like this and hit right here. Oh, and it just missed. And so I'm gonna come back and hold. So that was his four star ability there and so you saw the range i was standing right here and it still hit the hornet b thing from all the way over here so that's why it's very nice to follow up with this if you dive into them because generally i say you just like love tap them on the edge but with him you can actually just dive in as much as possible you could as close as possible you can hit them with his four star ability immediately followed by his five star ability however they changed it where they added a limit to the range of melee characters. So now, before, I used to be able to go all the way over here and attack from over here. So I could literally fly across the map and hit enemies over here. And that's what made the melee character so much fun. I can't do that anymore. The other thing is, you notice right here, immediately next to him, you'll see blue dotted line. And so this, if I was to try to attack right here, it would actually stop where the edges of the map are right here and it follows this square right here. So if I try to cast through it, I'll actually get stopped and the attack, even though the animation will go through, the actual effect will not apply to them, nor will the damage. So that's something you need to look out for, where basically you need to aim a little bit higher here. So because these guys, uh, I'm just gonna hit right here and get all three of them. I'm gonna hold a little bit closer and hit them with my ranged attack. And so that's the other way to do this with Big Bone is uh, that was his his two star ability has quite a bit of range and so i'm just gonna hold here for a little bit longer until my leader ability is up and then i'm going to just hit the edge and then i'm gonna hold right here out of range and move closer until i can hit him with my four star all right and that was good so that was the first part of this uh the next part is seeing which enemies I'm up against. So the hornets are going to be annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the hornets to hit me and then I am going to use my leader ability after that. The other way I can do that is I can move and bait the hornets but that way I will take two attacks. 
So it's better to be aggressive with this style because the wolves, once they're aggroed, I need to CC them some way. Interrupt, knockback, stun, pushback, any of those will work. Silence even works as well. So we're gonna go ahead and move on in. So I'm going to move up to right here. Wait for them both to attack me. So that was the one, and that was the two, and now I'm gonna go in. Boom. And then you saw immediately after I hit them with a stun, that was my four star ability triggered, and then my two star ability followed up. So both of those do quite a bit of damage, surprisingly, but the five star ability is the only thing that is melee range. And so unfortunately I can't do that. So this, there is a B here as well. So I could play it two different ways where I could hit just these three and then move up to the B for the kill or I can move in closer and try to get all of them with a single hit. However, it doesn't work as well unless I'm hitting exactly on the edge because the B's shot is faster than my cast. And so if I move into range and attack him, rather than having him come to me as I'm attacking, the bee will hit me first and will actually interrupt my leader ability so I'll have to hit it a second time. So I'm just going to move in slowly and just hit these three and then I'm going to follow up with his four star ability there. So I've taken quite a bit of damage so far. There isn't very much I could do about the, f the first half I could have done better and pinged more with line attacks. So I'm about half health right now despite it not looking so much up here as it is down there. So for these guys, it's a little bit different because I know that there's spawns here and spawns in the middle and then spawns in the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to approach up from the middle. That way I can aggro both of them at the same time. Once I have them both aggroed, I'm going to pull away before I can take any damage. And then I'm just going to wait here for them to get into range. And unfortunately their range is a little bit further than my leader ability. So I'm going to pull back and then uh, ooh, hit him like that. And I still got a hit because I had messed up the timing. So now we're going to come and work on the bees because these are annoying. Uh, because your two star ability at lower levels is not enough damage to kill these. So I just need to be very cautious. Oh, I said cautious and I've already failed. So now it's going to proc on this guy instead which is problematic so i need to move out and i need to be able to hit these guys as quickly as possible so i'm gonna wait for that to go off and move out of range okay and let's see if i could get as many of these as possible this could be a very sticky situation here i might have trapped myself well let's see Ooh, this is getting close all right we're just going to wait I'm just going to cast it right here. All right, so that was good. I'm just going to go in straight for the kill, if at all possible. All right, so that was the sticky situation. We're going to go ahead and see how much damage I took. Oh, I said how much damage I took. So yes, I lost another 600 health there. So I could survive another such volley, but we're just going to play it safe. This is one of the issues of playing So on the PC. Oh. Apparently, I didn't have it off of cooldown. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for the stagger. It did not quite work the way I wanted it to. Oh! So these bees, their aggro range is so long. All right, we're just going to hit right here. And then we're just going to wait, and that was the aura ability. I'm just going to wait, I said. Boom. All right. So now I'm just going to hold out of range right here. Your aggro range is much farther than I thought. So I'm just going to turn on this time speed and wait for the ability to go off cooldown. It should be 10 seconds, but it hasn't procced yet. Maybe it hasn't been 10 seconds yet. All right. It hasn't been 10 seconds yet. So we're just going to slowly inch closer. Boom. Okay. Yeah. I was just out of range. So now I can go and wait for the stagger to hit me and then boom going. All right, so that was one method. The other way is I could have edge hit, edged hit them as well. But that's how you do it with BB. You can do it up to, I think, 10 levels underneath the recommended content and gear, just because you don't often have as much health. If you have a lot of ranged enemies, like this was primarily all ranged enemies in the first room, 
and mostly ranged enemies in the final room. But then both the second and third room had ranged enemies. So that was one of the hardest for me. You do some of these earlier ones and they're all melee characters only. It's much, much easier. Even with like these middle ones where you have more of the snakes are generally your biggest weakness in there. Just because the mages, they don't do a whole lot of damage because they only do one auto attack and then they follow with their full attack. So for most of these, it's fairly easy, but these ones that have multiple ranged enemies and some of these ones up here have multiple ranged enemies. So those are the ones you got to be careful for, but he could do most nodes fairly easily um, with just those uh, couple of abilities that he has. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. We'll see you all in the next video.